Welcome to Gwen's Twisted Limbs Yoga. We're going to come into a child's pose. So you can bring a blanket for your knees so that you can nestle the knees right into the blanket and feel comforted. Or you can bring the knees over the blanket so that your shins can feel the blanket and the knees are elevated without any pressure. Come down to the forearms. You can flip your bolster on medium if that's better for you. And then allow the body to rest either on the forehead or the cheek on one side. And devote your practice here in this prayerful bow. Whatever comes to mind, breathe that in. Maybe you're sending it out to a community or someone in your family. Let that lift your practice. And you can periodically through the practice check in and breathe into this devotion. And how about one more breath, just like that? And then go ahead and come up onto your hands and your knees. Let's come into a little bit of a moving um, child's pose now with cat and cow. So feel the wrists, the thumb and the first finger, give them a little press and Notice the elbows come towards each other just a wee bit as you press down. Neutral spine. Take a deep breath and let the belly drop and the sit bones lift. And you might look forward. And as you exhale, round that spine. Inhale. Feel the arc, a beautiful back bend. And as you exhale, a rounding. Come into whatever rhythm suits you now. Inhaling and exhaling. Take a deep inhale and arc. And then exhale, let the sit bones come back as you exhale. Inhale, arc. And as you exhale, feel the sit bones come back and maybe the forehead rests just for a brief moment. Now we're moving with this now, inhaling and exhaling into your child's pose. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Two more. Feel the back of the throat as you exhale into it. And one more. And then go ahead and bring the bolster over to your side. Let your you're going to drape over the bolster. So uh, anything in your pocket on that side, go ahead and take it out. <laughs> and take the uh, bolster into that side of the hip. Option to bring the lower arm straight out. 
head right onto the um, shoulder or you might want to share the workload with a blanket. If your arm or your shoulder, that lower shoulder isn't feeling very good there, you can have it straight out in front along the bolster. So whatever feels good for you. I'm going to have it right at 12 o'clock there. Head right on to the shoulder. Other arm onto the side now. Take a deep breath and let that top arm come up. Right straight up towards the ceiling. Bend that top elbow and let the fingers come down to that lower arm. And if the arm isn't there, then the floor. Take a few deep breaths and feel the edges of your body, the lower edge hugged in, and the top edge expanding a little longer each breath. Close the eyes and allow the body to rest here. From here, you can walk the lower the uh, fingers all the way down to the wrist of that lower arm. And then let it rest. Stay here or bend that lower elbow and take a hold with that lower hand into that top wrist. Let it feel like you're pulling some light traction upward. Breathe nice and fluidly in through the nose and out through the nose or the mouth. Relax through the jaw. option to take the hand up towards that top elbow. Again, like you're tugging it upward. A little light traction, lengthening, lengthening from elbow to shoulder to hip. Stay here or lengthen through the legs. This will feel like we're, we're on the edge of our body, a cutting edge here. So you can rock forward and then rock back. A slight little rock forward and then back. Let the knees bend slightly and the body move just a wee bit, forward and back. And then one more breath, just like that. And then go ahead and let yourself roll onto your belly, navel down. The arms, elbows will be on the other side of the bolster. So the other side of your cushion. And you can use your, your blanket here for the forehead. So as you start to get comfortable, bring the legs a little wider. You're on the tops of the feet here. I'm going to come a little bit further so maybe you can see the tops of my feet. <laughs> and then um, give them a little press. So let them come a little wider than you think. So maybe the edges of your mat um, a little wider than your shoulders and then give them a little press into the floor. Feel the knees pop up 
and then relax that. And come into a few different um, presses. So maybe a 1% press, not always 100%. If you're like me and you always go 100%, see if you can go just about 4%, just a light little press and then relax. And notice what you feel as you press down. Can you feel the knees pop up? Can you feel a slight contraction of the muscles in the lower back? And then relax that effort and allow the forehead to come down. And notice how you feel here. You can come into a light little press if you need to. And if it feels better to press into the tops of the feet. Notice if you can feel the belly. Each inhale, a little press. And then as you exhale, you can give a little press into the tops of the feet. You can relax that and inhale, press through the belly, through the ribs. Feel it expand through the kidney band. And as you exhale, a little press through the tops of the feet. You can come into that rhythm if you'd like. Inhaling. Feel that little press, fullness in the belly. Exhale, a slight little press through the tops of the feet. It's like a moving back bend here. This is called noble seal this position. If the legs were together, it would be a cobra. So noble seal is a little more freeing of the spine, so it can drape a little more. How about two more like that? Inhale, feel the fullness of the belly. Exhale, a little press of the tops of the feet. Or relax the whole entire body here for one more breath. And then allow yourself to come on over to the other side. So you don't have to move. I'll move. But you don't have to. You can have your back to me. <laughs> and nestle the bolster right into the hip. Bring the lower arm out and have the head rest down. Or remembering the options. Rolling your blanket, allowing that to be your pillow and the arm in front of the shoulder if that feels better. Or share the workload. A little bit of the head onto the blanket with the arm up might feel better. So find the place that suits you best here today. And then on your next inhale, let the top arm gently come upward and feel the fingers pointing towards the ceiling. Bend that top elbow. Fingers come down above the crown, the top of the head. Take a few deep breaths and experience the sensations in the edges of your body, the bottom edge draped in a half moon shape. And the top edge expanding just a little longer through the rib cage, the top hip. And you can spider walk those top fingers all the way down and let it drape over the top ear. Take a few deep breaths there. Relax through the jaw.
and go ahead and bend the bottom elbow just slightly so that you can take hold of the top wrist and let it gently come um, so it feels like you're pulling with effortless effort. And as you breathe, notice the top hip, the rib cage, the shoulder, all the way down the arm to the wrist. Stay here or let the lower hand clasp a hold by the elbow and then let it fall outward. Eyes are closed. Nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose or the mouth. Option to lengthen through the legs so you're on that razor edge, feeling a little sway forward and backward. Let yourself be playful here. Maybe a slight bend to the knees. And then one more breath, just like that. Go ahead and press into the floor. Take the bolster right out. And lay flat on your back. Come nice and flat. And scan the body now from the heels all the way up through the calf and the knees, through the thigh, the sit bones, through the lower spine, all the way to the shoulders to the back of the skull. A little rock, noticing how you feel. And we're going to come into our side body once again in a yin posture called banana sana. So go ahead and take your um, right foot away from the midline, just let it slide out and notice where your sit bones are. They stay glued to the floor, attached to the floor. They don't move. Now the other leg, let it follow without force or struggle. Take that outer ankle and let it come right over the left. The arms can remain where they are if that feels better, or you can bring them up above the um, crown. You can hang on to the wrists if that feels okay. And you can start inchworming over. The arms can come over to the right, and then the head a wee bit, the arms, and then the head. So it really feels like that outer edge. You can really feel the traction right from the ankle all the way up possibly to the elbow. And that beautiful hug on the other side. Having some fun with the edges of our body in this practice today. Eyes are closed. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And allow the body to relax the effort. You're in the shape, you're there. Relax through the jaw. Let it slacken. The shoulders, the sit bones, the legs nice and heavy. 
beautiful time to come into that devotion, that prayer from the start of your practice. Breathe into it. Three more breaths here. Let yourself surrender just a little more. Each exhale a little heavier. And one more. The arms can reach up. The head can come back to center. Keep the eyes closed. Top ankle comes off and find your new center. Knuckles are heavy or palms on the belly. Feel and sense the body start to shape shift. Notice from the ankles all the way up the legs, all the way into the lower spine, through the shoulders. To the center of the brain. Take another breath there and we'll come on over to the other side by dragging the left out and the right will follow. Not too far. Feel the sit bones anchored down. There are your weights. Then take the left ankle over the right this time arms can stay down you're perfect or go ahead and involve them in the practice by bringing them above the crown maybe clasp hold and start to inchworm over to that left side arms move then the head by pressing down and inchworming over in that right banana shape Let yourself relax while you feel what it's like on this side. Breathe into that outer edge as you feel into that traction. Coming into the outer edge of the whole entire body here, feeling the ankle to the knee, to the hip, to the rib cage, to the shoulder, all the way to that elbow. And then the other side, a beautiful hug, a squeeze. Then relax through the jaw a little more. Eyes are closed. As you come into a, a rhythmic breath now, in through the nose, and out through the nose. You can come back into that prayer, that devotion, that intention that you started with. It's like a spell that you cast upon your practice that lifts it up.
three more breaths. Enjoy pouring yourself into this pose each exhale just a little more. And one more just like that. Go ahead and reach up like a yawn with the arms. Let the head move back to your center. Top leg comes off. Legs come back. Knuckles heavy. And feel into the body here. Notice the sensations. It might be huge as the body starts to morph and shape shift back into its new normal. A little more pliable, softer in the edges. Through the ankles to the sit bones. Feel both legs. From the lower spine to the upper spine of the neck. Breathe into it to the center of the brain, through the brow, where you think it is. Take a breath. Then go ahead and leave the left leg down and let the right leg come into the belly. And if you have a strap, you can thread the strap behind the knee here if you need to lengthen your arms or any kind of material. Other than that, you can um, have your fingers interlaced and feel the shoulders anchor down. Then flex the left foot. Send the heel out, 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 and the toes towards the nose. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, a slight little lift just to get a piece of paper under it. So not very not very high and then relax it down and relax as much as you comfortably can in this shape. Take a breath and a ha. Then flex that lower foot, toes to the nose. Take a deep breath there and as you exhale, lift and then lower and relax as much as you comfortably can. Feel the shoulders soften, the back body. And we'll come into that one more time by flexing that left foot. Take a deep breath with that flexed foot. And as you exhale, lift that long and strong leg up, maybe to a new height, and then lower. From here, switch. Let the right come down to the floor. Clasp a hold right behind the other knee. Flex that right foot. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lift just to get a piece of paper under it. And then relax it down. A rhythmic breath here. Exhaling it all out. Flex that right foot. Take a breath. On the exhale, lift. And then lower. Feel the shoulders relax into the floor more. Another breath there. And then flex that right foot. Take a breath. And then a little lift. Let it relax down. Another breath. And ha. Flex that right foot. Breathe in. And then as the breath flows out, lift. And then lower. Come into your Shavasana. Here you can use the bolster underneath the legs maybe right underneath the knees or the thighs. You can use your blanket as a blanket over the whole entire body or as a weight 
onto the lower, um, below the belly, upper thighs. And allow yourself to rest here as you observe from the heels to the knees, to the pelvis to the shoulders, to the center of the brain. And thank you for your practice. Namaste.